This is my cat. Morning guys, welcome to chapter one. We made it, we told you our story from when we met and when we got here and it's mostly things in between and now we uh, start chapter one. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, sorry, hold on, I'm getting distracted by uh, my little things cuter than me. So, we're, there you go, yeah, are you happy? There, you got, you got it, cool. I'm not gonna share anything with you. Yeah, it's great. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, decided to come down to the harbor and get a nice sunrise. Um, this is my episode, buddy. I already got cats distracting me. I don't need roosters distracting too. It's going to get a nice time lapse for you guys of the harbor, only to find out that the early bird got a bunch of clouds this morning, so the sun's still coming up. I'll stick around and see if I can get a good shot for you. But, more importantly... Ah, me again. How's my hair? Yeah, we start chapter one, man, and I got some very exciting news today. If you watched the, uh, or looked at the name of this episode, clearly you probably know what the news is, but stay tuned for that. Um, really excited to see where this uh, first chapter takes us as you guys join us in this transition from Kauai back to Jamaica. Uh, I'm going to have a little fun with the wife today because I'm going to tell her, hey honey, we can't prolong the prologue anymore and see if she can ask Google. In case you haven't figured it out, her and Google, they have a pretty uh, love-hate relationship because she's got a... <coughs> You good? Alright. She's got a funny, uh, not a funny, but she's got an accent and Google doesn't always recognize that accent, so they have a nice little Google Wars as I like to call it sometimes, so we'll try that out today. But. Today's episode is always about uh, giving thanks and thinking about um, what are some things that we can be thankful for. And I know, even though we've covered a really brief history of our journey together, and roosters are trying to interrupt my monologue, um, I definitely am thankful for the process that took us to get here. You know, it's been ups and downs and all arounds, but, uh, you know, just to give you guys a short history of how we got to where we are financially, um, we bought a house in Arizona when we first moved back there and literally paid nothing down. Maybe not the brightest idea, but um, it worked. And we sold it about four years later to, in order to pay for a down payment for the house here. But when I first moved to Kauai, I literally moved into a 200 square foot studio by myself and spent about the first six months here making sure that this was the place that we want to uh, to be and after that we were able to be very fortunate and find a, a condo available to rent so that the rest of my family could come out um, and start life here and then after that we got even more fortunate and was able to buy a house um, literally halfway in between my school and my wife's housekeeping job so um, extremely thankful that uh, those situations worked out and the people involved really assisted us in that transition and now uh, maybe you guys can take a moment and think about you know, what are some things that you're thankful for either in this past year in life in general. You know, Knowing that my wife and I are moving back to a third world country, I think it's going to be a nice reminder for us this year to recognize all of the nice amenities and things that we have going for us here in Hawaii. Because um, this is our last Thanksgiving here. And fun fact, Jamaicans don't exactly celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh, not a Jamaican holiday, but uh, I asked my wife the other day, you know, hey, do you guys celebrate Thanksgiving? And she's like, no, nah, we, we pretty much give thanks every day. You know, <laughs> we really appreciate being able to uh, have the, the joy that we have. And, and you'll see, man, I can't wait to get there because the people there are, are genuinely, you know, happy. And, they, and even if they don't have a whole lot, they're, they're, they're happy about what they have and they're happy to help share it with others, most of them. Um, 
and I'm excited for you guys to get to see that. So stay tuned. I'm going to get a couple great shots of the sunrise now that the early bird is finally getting a sunrise. And we'll see you guys uh, in a little bit. What are you doing? You're happy watching, happy watching, 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 your nose looks great. Why are you sitting there taking video without even telling me something? You're just sitting there taking this is our This is our morning together. This just is more. our morning together with a bunch of play, play, pump, play, pump, tea, gram, <laughs> of tea, free box. What the heck is your problem? Oh, this is uh, morning time together. This is what we do. <laughs> um, this is what you do. Sit down and take pictures with your people without them even know. All right, dear. Let's let's go on. <laughs> Boring people. No, we're the boring ones. They're the ones watching the boring. Whatever, ones. Tyler. Anyway, so you know we gotta end the prologue, right? End the prologue. Yeah, right? we can't prolong the prologue anymore. Why is that? Because it's time to start chapter one. Okay. Okay. So can you tell them we're gonna pro not gonna prolong the prologue anymore? Do you know what that means? No. Prolong. Here, come ask Google. Okay. It's my wife's favorite. Is Hold on, you gotta come over here. Honey, what? come on. Try and ask Google. Oh my gosh, I think they're ready to go. Yes, we're ready, but what does it mean to prolong the prologue? Google probably don't know neither. Most are looking, uh, I don't know, but I find this um, research. Okay, well, why don't you try out Google and find out? Can you see? What does it mean to prolong the prologue? Okay, Google. All long to prolong a pro what? Um. Prologue. On the website writermag.com, they say the length of a prologue depends on the nature of the story, but it's best to keep it trimmed. One to five pages should suffice. I don't mind prologue it, this story. No man, you gotta ask him why we can't prolong the prologue. We can't prolong the prologue anymore. Why can't we prolong the prologue anymore? Because we gotta start chapter one. What's chapter one? Chapter one's the first chapter of our book. What's your book? The book's the video. Do you write a book? No, we're making a video, which is the book. Okay, so long as the book is not boring. Well, okay, but we we gotta end the prologue now. Yeah, we gotta start okay, chapter one. We start boring people already can start like saying, oh, okay. We're ending the prologue and now we're going to start chapter one. And you know what? Chapter one is going to... It's not going to be boring. No. I'm drawn out and people are going to want to watch it because <laughs> long I'm boring and... Can you just ask Google to stop prolonging the prologue? What? I asked Google and she gave me an answer. What'd she say? She said so long it's not boring. Okay. We're starting chapter one. I guess so. <laughs> so I didn't jump the one. Right, we are out of here. We are off to Costco. What are we getting today? Good new yet. I got a book. Costco. Find out what's in there. You don't know what's in Costco? No, Costco. Above. Well, Costco change up their stuff most of the time. Sometimes you go there and find good stuff, sometimes you go there and find good stuff. That's true. Alright, wish us luck. My goal is oh, to spend less time. than... 
Less than 200? Less than 150? What's our goal? Well, we need to go before we get there because somebody likes to put things in the cart. Well, I put things in the cart that I want to eat. Okay. Not. Yeah. All right. So, is it going 150 or 200? Yeah. All right. 200. Stay tuned. The receipts coming soon. Okay. Go, honey. You remember the dollar amount? What is it? Between, how about we just go no, between 150 and 200? Everything raising Costco, so every time you go to Costco, is everything is different prices. Everything is not the same price all the time. You win. So how about we just say between 150 and 200? I said 150. I'll say your notes. No, I'm not. Stay tuned. Okay, fingers crossed. How do we do? Think we did it? We'll see. Time to get in line. Alright, moment of truth. Should we show them how we did? Okay, here we go. Okay, well, we made it to 210. Not horrible, not the best, but uh, I'm proud of you, dear. You did it. She's thrilled, can't you tell? Now we get to get all this stuff home with our brand new hood latch. Let's go test it out. There she goes, her first time. Just let it go. Watch your head. Not bad, huh? Look, you don't have to duck. I don't even have to hold it up anymore. Oh, well, I guess now I gotta help hack the car. Understand how amazing this is. Really? You're not impressed, don't I know. Don't Let's see. Let's see. I told them how amazing you are. Um, no, you never did. You sure? Yes. Okay, yes. try it. Try it. Come on, you got this. People at home are waiting. People at home is not waiting. You just want to be. Here we go. Here we go. Hey. hey. Come on, dear. You're, you're, you got, you don't get, okay. Hey, hey, no thumbs up? Thumbs up. Okay, now we can go put the cart. I'll get in the car. Bye. No, <laughs> See ya. <laughs> All right guys, let's check out the house that we just bought in Jamaica and uh, see what you think. This is the, what do you call this, the walkway? Yes. The walkway, all right. Walking up into the house, you can see it's got some nice grass on the left and the right. Nicely maintained so far. Little dirty, not gonna lie, it's a bit of a fixer upper. I'm gonna give you guys that heads up ahead of time. Um, the water pipe from the main road, we gotta make sure that we go ahead and uh, bury in the future. On the right there, that's actually a water tank over there. You can, uh, they store their water because it comes in the pipe like once a week, and so you store your own water. Um, zinc roof housing, concrete inside and out. Check out this veranda. You wanna talk about the veranda? Well, what do you notice about it? It's pretty big. It's blue. We gotta fix the color, that's for sure. This one's Sonia's room. Tell me about your room. That's not my room, that's a... 
That's the what? living room. You yes, guys? that's the living room. You just got to see how for you what you want. You design it where you want it anyway. It's big. That's the living space. And we're headed off to the kitchen. Now, again, this is a bit of a fixer-upper. We're going to be hopefully renovating this whole entire kitchen. Taking out everything, all the cabinets, um, whatever that was. What was it? That's a pantry I was calling to them, but it's a very small pantry anyway. Yeah, we're going to take that one out. This back room, I think, is going to be the game room or the playroom. Yeah, uh, if we're able to get through and adopt some kids, it's going to be kind of like a fun, more entertaining room as if we're opposed to the living room is going to be more formal. Formal? Yeah, living and dining is in one. So this is the, the second bedroom. No, the first bedroom that we're looking at. First bedroom. Nice, clean ceilings. The, the paint we're going to redo and just probably go all white. Um, this is the second bedroom right next to that first bedroom. This is all on the left side of the house. Um, probably all white with this, there's just every single one. We gotta replace these closet doors for sure too, but the, 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 it's looking pretty good so far. Tell them about the bathroom, dear. I think the bathroom's coming up next. Oh. Oh, that's the bathroom. I think I wanna change the timer for the bathroom wall. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, we got. We can maybe keep the one by the shower. Yeah, but, but I think get the rid one of the rest by of the it. toilet. Maybe I just take off the other wall. Yeah. And I think I want to try it all over. Yeah. And this that's is the front the, room. That's the third bedroom. Okay. A little too green for me. Um, you notice it's got uh, grills on all the windows and all the and, and then the veranda. Again, we're gonna fix up all the the. Uh, Closet doors. And we're gonna probably retile everything too. Back to the patio. Again, huge patio, great entertaining space facing the sunset to the west. So, pretty excited about getting to have evenings on that. And then we go into the master bedroom. Kind of small, but it's okay. There's only two of us. I don't know about the two colors. We're probably gonna keep, go, keep it with the white. Might fix up those front windows to do actual like slider windows too. We gotta replace the the doors. And then there's a little hallway and then the master bath. Tell them what you're gonna do with the master bath. Yeah, kinda of small but it's okay. Yeah, so I look out, tell them to look out the whatever glass thing they have on the half. Yeah, she don't like the glass there. And the bar too small, so I need a bigger one. I'm gonna have to extend the bath. Yeah, so. And the toilet is too low, that I don't need that one either. But, uh, yeah. Very nice all so far. A lot of renovations to do, but we got a great deal on it and uh, pretty excited about getting to start the renovations before we actually move there next summer. I'm not sure what to do with this part because there's, there's the, the windows things go to that back room. Yeah, my brother told you to put take you out and put in you know, like a um, counter bar thingy, but you said no. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But let's go ahead and check out the backyard. Backyard, here we go. Check it out. So, single carport, kind of narrow, nicely grilled. Uh, it's like what says carport for one little small car anyway. I don't drive so that's fine, I'm gear, I take taxi go wherever I want. I think we're gonna repaint all these grills in white. For sure. But cool little entrance there. There's the water tank over there. Uh, I just said water tank. Right. Nice the gate, stone dangerous. pillars there. Plenty of fruit trees in the back here. We got um, we gotta bury that water pipe as well. But there's Aki, there's banana, breadfruit. Coconut tree. Coconut tree. At the front they have a cherry tree and a guava tree at the front of the yard. Yeah, we're yeah. probably gonna take out a mango tree or two just because it's pretty rooted out in the back. Um, yeah. There's a back storage room. There's actually that little blue one in the back there is actually a helper's quarters. 
So we to the then seeing what you're showing them, you know, because the camera thing is going on. Yes, over yes. The place. We gotta bury this pipe this year. That's the pit right there. We gotta probably get cleaned out and redo. Um, I think we're gonna take this mango tree out because a lot of roots over by the roof on uh, that side of the house, and we don't want to have to bother deal with that. Um, probably gonna put in a new fence line there on the side. That's our neighbor. Neighbor's name is Chester. Chester. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he seems like a great guy. Got some sugar cane there, and uh, all in all, it's it's got some work to do, not gonna lie, but uh, the bones are there and we're really excited about what opportunities are gonna exist there. And we look forward to taking you guys with on the journey too, as far as uh, how this is gonna play out. And as we renovate, we're gonna keep giving you guys updates in the videos as well. So, looking, looking pretty interesting, but uh, we're excited. So thanks. That's our Jamaica house. That's our retirement home. And we look forward to being there next summer. Hopefully. You're excited to be there next summer. Really She's so excited. Can't you tell? She's just full of life right now. We got this. All right. Oh, anyway, we didn't even tell you guys. Um, you are a US. I'm tell, a Jamaican. Yeah, but tell them about the house. For real. Tell them about the house and your mom. My mom house? No, the house. How it relates to your mom. My, the house that we buy related to my mom. Yeah. I think my mom told me she used to work for the people and that was with there before. But they passed away a long time. Yeah, ago. fun fact. Um, her mom, when she was a lot younger, used to work. And uh, in this house for the I people think that live there. She was that young anyway. She well, was like in her 30s or whatever. I don't remember. That was like 30 years ago, dear. Yeah, my mom so. is in her 80s. Really exciting that uh, now that uh, we get to go back, we actually bought the house. Ago.